Welcome back to another episode of KC Campbell's video cast. KC Campbell here with Great Lakes Post, and we are now joined by Spencer Boyd, the driver of the number 20 Chevrolet for Young's Motorsports. Spencer, how are you? I'm good. Happy to be here, buddy. Um, we're going to Talladega this weekend. Of course, you are the, you are entering that race as the defending winner of that. We all know what happened. Of course, uh, when it was announced that Johnny Sauter was not going to win the race, they credited you with the win, and you were going to take the win any way you can get it, your first win in the truck series. What was that day like for you? Yeah, uh, you know, we, we had a good truck, um, you know, nine days before that race. A lot of people know I wasn't, uh, you know, going to run, didn't have a sponsor, and Alabama Roofing Professionals came on board and uh, got us out there on the racetrack, and, and that was a good deal. Uh, YMS always brings really good speedway trucks. So uh, that was kind of circled for me to, uh, to have a good finish. And we ran up front a lot of the race, uh, had a really good truck, obviously finished second. And uh, Johnny Sauter, uh, you know, went below the line there and worked out for us to get our first win, my first win, YMS first win in seven years of uh, truck series racing. So big deal for us. Um, like you said, we'll take a W any way you can get them at this level. Um, talk about, the, you know, how Young's Motorsports has been – you know, been around for a while, and they've been really improving in these last few years, along with a lot of other teams in the truck series. What has been the performance like of YMS so far this, so far these last few years? Yeah, you know, I became a part of YMS uh, at the beginning of 2019, and, and Tyler Young, uh, the owner and obviously driver for several years, uh, and the whole reason behind YMS, uh, his parents built the team for Tyler, and he took more of a management role, uh, which allowed guys like myself and Gus Dean and Tyler Dipple and now Tate Fogelman. And there's been a lot of us that have come through YMS and I've kind of, uh, you know, kind of put my feet down and, and stuck around here. This is my second year and, and hopefully I can stay with YMS in years to come. And uh, it's been a good fit. And like you said, they're, they've improved over the last few years. We got better trucks, good personnel. Uh, truck series is really tough. So uh, you know, right now you got to celebrate top 20 is really in the truck series. There's so many uh, big teams when you look at how many trucks KBM brings and GMS and DGR. I mean, those are big powerhouse teams. So uh, we consider ourselves one of the small guys. and I'm happy to be a part of it. And to bring them their first win was huge. Uh, big smile on our face. And Tyler and I are good buddies. So um, the excitement was real and we're excited to go back and defend the win. What's it like racing at Talladega? You know, it's a track where anything can happen and usually does happen. Is there really a strategy to win Talladega? Yeah, well, I kind of have a similar strategy at most speedway races. And, um, you know, I'm not the only one that does it. There, there's quite a few of us that, you know, like to play it smart and watch things happen throughout the first half of the race and try and be there at the end. And, uh, you know, it's nice to be up there on TV at the beginning, but it doesn't pay. Uh, to be on the record at the end so um, everyone kind of has their strategy uh, I think if you're up there in the top five you're kind of safe uh, to say but if you're there between like eighth and 15th you're just in a hornet's nest it, it's really tough so you see that in the truck Xfinity and the cup race they all race very similar when it comes to you know where the wrecks happen um, so you want to avoid those but you want to do a good job for your sponsor and speedway racing is a good equalizer uh, you see a lot of smaller teams have a chance to run up front um you see a lot of rookies make mistakes so uh it's one of those deals where you're constantly paying attention to who you're around and at the end of the day you know you're coasting for 80 laps and the last 20 is really what matters when you look at the you know so far this year for you know ymas you have a new, of course working with tate fogelman of course someone that has been through has raced a couple times i think throughout the years at ymas what has it been like working with him and see him seeing him grow yeah, well, you know, I, I just turned 25 here this year, and, and Tate's a, a young kid and um, got a lot of experience, great pedigree. His dad, Jay Fogelman, you know, won a lot of super late model races all over the country and ran Bush. And so it, it's great having someone like him and his dad to lean on. Um, Tate's very mature for his age, and he's done a great job over here in the O2 truck. And, uh, you know, he's done a good job with the team. So it's been fun, you know, traveling around. Uh, we've been working out of the same hauler here the last, uh, you know, few races since COVID. So uh, we're having fun at the Speedways. Uh, I think uh, he's got a level head and we'll be able to work together and hopefully be there at the end to do something special for YMS. Have you guys talked, have you talked with any other guys about what, what everyone's going to do uh, regarding what, like with, uh, with strategy getting up to the front of how, 
how these races are going to play out. Have you talked to anybody about what, what you guys want to do? Yeah, I, I think you've seen, you know, over the last few years, Chevrolet and different manufacturers have, you know, stuck together. Um, I think there's a power in numbers. So there's a lot more Chevrolets out there in the truck field than other manufacturers. So we're proud of that. Uh, I think, uh, we're going to work together. Obviously, we have our guys that we like to work with. And then there's a few guys that you have to work with that you don't always want to be around. So, um, you know, speedway racing, there's a lot of guys that can go fast and there's a lot of guys that make you nervous. So um, we'll kind of do our thing, see what happens. Uh, we got four or five that I think we'll race around. Um, those green flag pit stops, you know, you see that happen a lot in the cup race. So those guys got a lot of practice. Uh, whereas in trucks, um, not everyone has experience, you know, at a speedway coming down and, and getting fuel only. So, um, Oh, you got me. Uh, we're back. We're back. Uh, not everyone has a lot of experience doing green flag pit stops at a speedway. And you really got to have guys that you can trust and can get back up to speed and go through the gears good. And um, that's such an important situation in a short race. Uh, the speedways, you know, I know fans kind of see them, you know, hey, it's 100 laps, but uh, it really goes by quick. Uh, not a lot of time to, uh, you know, fix a mistake. So uh, just try and keep it clean. What's it going to take to get it done on Saturday? Yeah, I think uh, I think you got to be in the top six or seven, you know, coming to the white flag. Um, last year, I think I was 10th coming to the white flag at Dega, um, but we really pushed hard and, and, you know, we moved a lot of people there through those last few corners to, to get up there in the spot to make something happen. So uh, this year, I hope crossing the white flag, I'm a little bit higher up. And uh, I think, you know, the winner's probably going to come from within the top seven. So hopefully we can be there. Got to be there at the end. Uh, but I know my boys have built a really good truck. All right. Spencer Boyd, uh, thank you so much for joining us. And good luck this weekend and see if we can get win number two at Talladega. Appreciate it, man.